That's it. That's the dance. Totally how we're starting the show. That is how you're starting the show. <laughs> Are we live? <laughs> Three Volta Jordica. Oh. We're stoked to be here with you today and all the foldies, both online and in person. Thank you for being here. Um, uh, Leah and I are here together. Rob is hiding in the background on the stream yard and Ben and Chad's over there hiding over there. Uh, so we're, we're going to play a few things today. We're going to play a few games with everyone and with Guy Roberts. So we're going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do. Guy's going to be here in about 10 minutes. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to play the water game. If you've never seen the water game happen before, it is a really fun game where you measure your honor in your ability to hold a glass without spilling it. Surprisingly <laughs> stressful. It is. It's, it's surprisingly stressful. Yes. I don't play and I sweat during it. <laughs> like it, really, I, I will need a shower after this. Are you, are you sweating? Are you sweating right now? Not yet. Are you sure? I am very sure. Okay. I'm sweating. Because I'm next to you. Mm -mm. Okay. We get to hug each other right now. <laughs> that made me really nervous. <laughs> um, okay. So, so the water game, we're going to have Guy sit right here. Yeah. And then, and then um, Leia is going to Get roof closer. mistress all of you and invite you in to sit next to Guy. You're welcome. Ahead one of at a time while he pours his water in and you pour your water in. And we're going to see who has the most G, Guy Roberts or the Foldies. The goal is to not spill the water. And uh, as wise one, Shali will say, a lot of physics happens. Um, and we will literally be like this, watching the glass. <laughs> Um, we're going to get very bendy. I do have a little usquai in my coffee, so that's going to go really well. I'm going to attempt not to vomit all over Guy Roberts out of nervousness. <laughs> Putting me next to him was the brilliant idea. Yep. Totally planned this out. Gonna be I've just never fine. vomited on the show before. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing we're going to do is we're going to fear this. We're going to play a game called Fear the Spear. And if you're, if you're not familiar, we fear the spear every guest who comes on Threefold Talk. It is a rite of passage. Yeah, it's a rite of, pass rite of passage. And uh, it's a terrifying game involving sharp wit and also, also daggers. Also that. So uh, we're going to play that with Guy. And in the, in, at the same time, we're going to play a game with all of you called Bloody or Flaming. We've pulled a whole bunch of quotes from the books. And some of the quotes have the curse words in the quote removed and we'll say blank instead of the curse word. Your job is to identify whether the curse word in this quote is bloody or flaming. It's very complicated. Yes, we make our games extra difficult here on Threefold Talk so that they are uh, only accessible to the highest level of Shido Aiel intelligence. Checking shadows. Yeah, exactly. So who wants to answer a bloody or flaming question? Volunteers? Anybody? 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 Woo! Here, come sit right here. Thank you so much. Hi, what's your name? Um, Poppy Tea Leaf online. So nice. Hi, Poppy Tea Leaf. Welcome. Have you ever watched Three Full Talk before? I have not. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's your first show. We have a three full talk new. We love new people. We always love new people to come join us. How is Jordan Khan going for you? Oh, uh, so far it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, just taking. One? No, it's my second one. Woo! So yeah. Just taking it all in. What's been your favorite panel so far? Um, I. Actually, what I've attended are recordings of podcasts. And this is my <laughs> second one. <laughs> Amazing. I I really like all of the content creators on the show, too. On the In the <laughs> fandom. That's what I mean. In all the content creators on our show and other shows. <laughs> so, okay. Are you ready for your first question? Yes. 
Okay. Okay. The quote is, this one's a tricky one because there's actually two curse words. And they could be both bloody, both flaming, bloody or flaming. I'm just going to get to say this over and over again. It's, or flaming or bloody. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the quote and then I'm going to hand you the mic. Blank Moraine wouldn't even talk to me, but now she's given me blank fine new clothes to die in. Bloody Maureen wouldn't even talk to me, but now she's giving me flaming new clothes to die in. Oh, so, close. so close, so close. Do you think she got the right? Yeah, I think I think they think you just edited Robert Jordan's work and get to like put in the first post mortem edit. Yay! That's awesome. Congratulations! So new canon. That line is now bloody Maureen. Uh, but it is actually, it is bloody Moraine and bloody new clothes. So it's, it's double bloody. All right. All cool. right. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Leah, what has been um, the best part of Jordan Con for you? Um, it's always the same answer. I just love coming to the cons for all the people. So hugs, I actually get to hug people in real life, not just telework. And, you know, my cats are great. I love them. They're cuddlers. But it's not the same thing as hugging all you guys. So, um, yeah, I love you guys more than my cats. I said what I said. Okay. Uh, who thinks she's lying like a bloody shadow? <laughs> Don't you dare stop me, Josh. <laughs> um i actually people didn't think you were lying so that's awesome thank you <laughs> I, have, I do not have toe okay have toe. that's amazing all right who wants to join the do another bloody or flaming volunteers, oh, volunteers. come on you can come this way if you want whichever way you want that way that way lies danger <laughs> that way does lie danger Hi, hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, hi. I am Lumen, and I do social media at JordanCon. So all of the posts that you guys have been seeing about the bazillion special guests, Lumen put all of those up. It was like, what, two or three a day for the past month? Yeah, it was, it was a whole lot. But we got through them, and we got everybody announced, and everybody's excited. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for your quote? Okay, this is only has one curse word in it. So maybe easier or maybe harder. The quote is, she was a wisdom, not a blank, great, invincible warder who could make herself himself all but invisible. She was a wisdom, not a blank, great, invincible warder who can make himself all but invisible. That is really hard to say with the shifting pronouns. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was not prepared. Well, I bloody well think that it's a bloody in there and not a flaming. That's what I bloody think. Bloody or flaming? Do you have a bracelet? No, I don't. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot I was wearing glasses. <laughs> I like your glasses. They're anti-blue light. Uh, highly recommend if you get headaches because, you know, none of us stare at the phone or the computer all day. No, 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 I definitely not. not obsessively on social media all the time. You know that there's like nothing in front of you right now, right? There's no blue lights in but front of you. But they're cute. They are cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you... Um, so we were we were talking earlier that you had some special fear the spirit questions you wanted to ask Guy Roberts. I do. Have you thought through them? I have one in particular. Yeah. Yeah. And we were totally gonna write it down, and that totally happened. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the research that you did. Um. So, in case you guys don't know, Guy Roberts likes Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so mine is going to be a question about, um, also he does TED Talks. Um, so he's like, again, into teaching people, uh, using Shakespeare as a teaching method. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's going to be talking and a question about, um, if we were to rewrite U S school curriculum, how, what Shakespeare, because I'm sorry, Romeo and Juliet is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, but it is mandatory curriculum for every single high school. And Macbeth is depressing. Let's not teach teenagers about suicide. You just you just said the name of the Scottish play out loud. I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if we can do that. You might have just cursed like the entire con. I said what I said. I said what I said. No, but but uh, honestly, he is a professional on Shakespeare, and I would love to know his opinion about if he was to recommend things, especially to get people to love Shakespeare. Because Shakespeare can be hard, but he's got so many amazing works, mm -hmm. pieces of work, and um, and I love Shakespeare in high school. I used to like actively seek out movies. I would I brought my boyfriends and made them go to Shakespeare plays with me, which they loved. Those relationships totally lasted. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 like, again, like, I thought those plays that we went to were way more fun, way better. Again, not suicide. Like, things like we should probably be teaching kids. So if, if you, I'm going to ask you the question. If you could pick one play to focus on for Shakespeare for high school students, which play would that be? So it's one of the ones... <laughs> My boyfriend broke up with me the day of the play, and I can't remember the name, but it's twins that get separated at birth, and but they end up in the same town as adults, and they're running around, and everybody is so confused. I can't remember the name of that play, and I know Guy Roberts is going to know the name. <laughs> but uh, Does anyone know the name of that play? It's kind of obscure, but, but it's fun. It's very witty. Um, it's comedy, but it's something. I think, it, I think it's Twelfth Night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Comedy of errors. Comedy of errors. Comedy of errors. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it was hilarious, and again, like it's something I feel like teenagers could associate with, but also it has a lot of the adult life lessons, and yeah. So. So really curious what he's gonna say. I'm very curious what he's gonna say too. That's awesome. Hey, uh, speaking of, he's gonna say, look who's walking in right. Here. Hello, guys. Hi. We have a stabby stab for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Blending. <laughs> because, <laughs> because we're very ideal and we have stabby subs. All right. That's very good. How are you today? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. Thank you. How's your con going? Fantastic. It's amazing meeting all these people and, and putting faces to the names that I've seen on social media. So it's great. Yeah. So we have a couple of things we're going to do to do it to you today, <laughs> do with you today. Uh, we have a game called The Water Game. And we, as Aiel, we measure honor in a lot of different ways. And we think that you have a lot of honor. Um, so we've invited you to play a game that only the most... Should I demonstrate? Ooh. Are you... I, I, could, I, could, start, I could start us off. <laughs> Okay, so we, uh, only only the most honorable amongst us can play. So we would like you to play a game, and Leia's going to show what happens, and I will narrate while she's doing it. You're going to pick up this cup, and you're going to pour water into this cup. And your goal is to not spill a single drop of water out of the cup. And we're going to fill the cup completely all the way to the top. So you're going to take turns with went. all the foldies. So they're going to take so turns. You're going to pour your cup in, and they're going to come in and pour pour some water in. And we're going to see who has more honor. They're just going to step in and pour the cup in. You do it first. I did it first. I did it first. I'm to I got to do it with an eye patch, right? Uh, does right. anybody have an eye patch? Okay, let's, let's try this. Okay. All right. Oh, this is a really bad idea. Um, <laughs> this is an excellent idea. Oh, God. I right. you, it was no depth perception. That was the right choice. 
Well done. Well done. Okay. Leah's going to uh, invite the foldies in while we ask you a couple other questions. So uh, first we're going to have, uh, also we would like to thank the Black Tower for lending some of their tech today. Uh, so Josh is going to be our first tribute. Yes. So um, we play a game called Fear the Spear, which is very terrifying, right? Aren't you? Are, I, I'm actually literally shaking. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there are uh, Wheel of Time themed getting to know you questions. So the first question. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Josh has G. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Josh. Black Josh. <laughs> the first question we wanted to ask is, if you could take anyone from the Wheel of Time show cast your crew with you on a raid to guard your back, who would it be? Oh, this is easy. Uh, but I, I, But I need a whole team. It's the stunt team. It's Jan. It's Roman. Yeah. It's uh, Andra and Alice and Pavel and Davi. Oh man, they're all ninjas and Maida, of course. Yeah. We're kind of obsessed with her. Um, amazing. They're all amazing. Yeah. So yeah, hundred percent. Anytime you have a chance to hang out with the stunnies, they're phenomenal. They they seem like amazing people. Thank you. Okay, uh, who's next? Delusions. Delusions come poor. Oh wait, but a uh, guy needs to do it. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, oh, okay, to you have to. Time. You have to do it. <laughs> not that eye. Not this eye. Oh God, it's getting. Oh. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. It's it's kind of stressful. It's all right. I know. I you I don't know why you handicapped yourself. You yourself. <laughs> Boy, now you chose your choices. Oh. Uh, sassy as ever. Oh. Oh. Do you want to ask the next question? Charlix, hot or not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only good trollic is a dead trollic. Oh, that that is an answer that people can make. Yes, that that's an answer. That's an answer. We, we have heard. Don't tell Kevin that. No. No. <laughs> Don't tell Kevin that. <laughs> All right, who's next, Foldies? DT. All right, come on up. And then Trey, you're on deck. Let's bring it. All right, do I have to do it now? Me first. Yeah. And this is this is the Uno version. Where this is making oh, he's it considerably it. harder. Oh, come on! Oh. Come Good on, job. that's Good amazing. Job. Good, Good job. job. Well done. All right, guy, go again. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. <laughs> Oh. I was a little nervous there for a minute. All right, fuck me. All right. <laughs> Thank you, DD. Uh, Grace. All right, next question. Um, this one comes actually from Uno Bloody Namesta. Oh, all right. In my heart. Yeah. Um, actually, I have to pull it up on my screen because I forgot what the question was. Because <laughs> I'm really prepared and I have this all planned out, I promise. So uh, sh they were asking a couple questions. <laughs> One that I don't think I can ask you. <laughs> but they mentioned there was a story about how you accidentally smacked Masima slash Arnas. Is that something you... <laughs> Anytime you get a chance to smack Masima, you have to take it, first of all. All right? Um, yeah, at the at the Battle of uh, Atuan's Mill, when uh, the Sean Chan blast us with the power, we're all rigged up, and the light was coming in. It was the last thing we did, and so we didn't... Um, we didn't have a lot of time to do it, and they it was our first time to actually really do it, and... Um, you know, they tell you it's pretty intense, but it was like really being hit with the one power. Excuse me. And um, yeah, when I flew back, I think my boot 
accidentally hit Arnett. <laughs> I definitely didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> That's amazing. How did uh, he feel about it? Did he like it? You know, Arnest likes pain. Yeah. And uh, he was totally down for it, wanting me to do it every take. And I was like, all right, I've, I've proved my point. I think Uno proved his point with Massimo. We don't need to do that again. <laughs> I bet he was so disappointed after that. Poor guy. Okay, this is Fan and Chied, who I think you know. You have to do it three times now. Right, right, because right, she's two people. I don't know. Because Matt. I that's Shido math. <laughs> One. Oh, I got two more. <laughs> oh, this goes on way longer than you all think it will. Uh, you you tried really hard to get that. All right. All right. Okay, you got to help me out. Be my eye patch. Oh, okay. wait. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Why am I really nervous? <laughs> Did I do it? All right. Now I'm sweating. I told you guys I was going to start sweating, and now I just started sweating. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, who, will you pick the next person? I'll get the next question. Oh, Jake. Okay, next question. I think the interview's over now, right? <laughs> um, you don't get out of it that easy. No, no. It's it's you have to keep earning G until someone has toe. Okay. Right? And someone's gonna get toe. I have a lot of toe all the time, so I'm already ready. Yeah. <laughs> all right, your next question is if you could take anyone, alive or dead, guy shine, who would it be? Um, Anyone. To be honest, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, make someone do that. Even if it was only for a year and a day? Even if it was Shakespeare, I wouldn't do that. Whoa, those are big words. Those are big words. That is the first time we've had that response. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah, nobody's just said no. Fuck you, Aiel. Your ways are stupid. <laughs> no, nobody has had the balls to tell us that the Aiel ways yeah. are stupid. Yeah, I I also think that that's a problem. That's a very interesting thing that people could choose to say. Yeah. Isn't that cool? You want yeah, one of them? I kept flinging mine so much that it broke and started flinging at people. That's and good. And then I also accidentally stabbed Matt Hatch because it didn't collapse. <laughs> Who doesn't want to stab Matt Hatch? I mean, right? That is so true. 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 So true. That's true. For many reasons. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay. okay. My brain just went, woo! <laughs> Tree, are you ready to play? Probably not, but I'm going to do my best. All right. Go for it. All right. Your knee is touching the table. We're to the point where we're like, don't touch the table. It's already over the glass. Woo! Woo! You made it. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna double eye patch again? Or? I've already done it. I gotta keep doing the double eye patch. All right. All right. I need my eye patch. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you be the I other was just eye patch? Another eye Wait. <laughs> Ready? Wait, you're, we're not. We're double eye patching. Yeah, double can't go patch. back. Can't go back. All right. Oh my god. All right. Oh god. Oh, you're touching the cup. Get up higher. Okay. Wait. No, wait. You got this. You got this. Did I already? No, no, you didn't. But you got air. Oh. I do it. Oh. All right. Over. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Nah, it plays until somebody has to. Thank you, Tree. Okay. Next question. You're a huge Shakespeare person. I attended your Shakespeare panel last night, which was amazing. Critter, you look amazing. Look at Critter's new cosplay. Wow. Yeah, that's great. That was, wow. You look fantastic. Um, So, I wanted to ask, because I know that you're way into Shakespeare and also you love uh, stage combat as well. Who do you think in Shakespeare is like the most elite 
sword fighter. Swords? Why are we talking about swords? Shh. Uh, well, um, mm, mm, so many, so many. Yeah, I mean, you have to go with Troilus and Cressida and Achilles, the the greatest uh, warrior ever. So, uh, even though Achilles is a dick, uh, yeah, Achilles. Uh, there's Hotspur, but Henry V kills him. There's Tybalt. Romeo kills Tybalt. Mercutio. I mean, but uh, yeah, you got to go with Achilles. So, follow up question, and be aware of your audience: Who wins, Achilles or Lan? I mean, have you read A Memory of Light? Do you know who Lan took out? Yeah. Come on. Okay. Right. Okay. Well done. You know your audience well. Well done. All right. All right. So, are you ready to play? Uh, yeah. Tell me again what I'm doing. So, you take a cup and you pour it into that cup without spilling a drop of water. Yep. No toe, because if you earn toe, you earn toe for all. All of the foldies. You are representing the foldies right now. All righty. No yeah. pressure. Okay. Let's, let's, no pressure at all. Let's do this. This is left handed, so if I don't mess up, it's impressive. Oh! My friend. Oh my God. Guy. <laughs> you gotta go again. All right. Okay. Yeah, but let's raise the stakes. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do it standing, okay. which uh, no, I gotta get the eyes covered. Am I out of frame? Should I? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cover my, cover my eye. Oh, oh. You're you're gonna be an eye Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Let's fucking do it. All right. Here we go. Oh God. What? I know I think you tried to do this to like make this game happen faster, but I think maybe maybe double eye patch. Maybe double eye patch is your secret weapon. Oh man, all right. Okay. I know you have to leave very soon. So uh maybe we will do one more round of this and then call it a draw. How about that? We make it, we make it, make okay, it. Yeah. we'll see. We'll right, see. All right, next question. Next, next question. Do you have another question? I do. All right. I do have a question. It is also Shakespeare based. All right, let's so, go. So, um, I have thoughts that, um, uh, Shakespeare gets taught, and we're talking about U.S. high schools. Romeo and Juliet, not the best thing to teach to kids. <laughs> if the United States government was like, hey, Guy Roberts. I almost almost call him Rob again. I just keep doing that. Um, we would like you to help us rewrite how to teach Shakespeare to kids. What pieces of work would you recommend to them to teach to kids? Uh, Romeo and Juliet. I hate you so much. <laughs> that is the wrong answer. Okay. No, You're that's, <laughs> that's exactly what those kids are going through. Love, hate, anger, feeling excluded, not feeling part of something. Absolutely. Romeo and Juliet's a great way into uh, Shakespeare, Midsummer Night's Dream, Hamlet, of course. I mean, basically, any Shakespeare is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Leah, tell him what your answer would be. Uh, comedy of errors. Oh, wow. All right. I like it. Yeah. Twins getting confused and running around, so it's fun. Still gets you into the language a little bit, but also, like, not tragic love and suicide. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. The ending is, is tricky. Yeah. It's All tricky. right. Last time, Brother Zachariah, Brother you have the honor of the foldies in your hand. Oh, so much Let's go. Oh. 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 <laughs> Good job, Brother Zachariah. Everybody, please give it a shout. Guy, would you do one more thing? Yeah. Would you say hello to Rob, who's watching right now? Rob, why the fuck aren't you here? Thank you so much. Take care. Yeah. Thank you all for playing and um, making 
making the right. Never mind. You know, there's a big white towel, like right, right there, right, right there. Nobody saw that, right? No. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Did not happen. You, you saw it? <laughs> I, was, I wasn't asking you. <laughs> okay, we're um we're gonna play just a, a few more rounds of flaming or bloody. Do we have any volunteers who wants to play? Tree dance? Je oh, wait, let's bring Jess up because she hasn't been up here yet. Come on, Jess. Come around here. Hey. You look amazing, Jess. How's your con been going? My con has been amazing. Why is that? Well, you know, I just have so many awesome con friends that I've missed so much for like nine months and getting to see everybody and squeeze everybody and squee with everybody. It's been pretty epic. It's been pretty epic to see you here and see you squee. I think I think you have a lot of extra squee this year. I do seem to have a surplus. Yes. Yeah, so I'm trying to dole it out every room I go into. Just I'm getting squee on everybody. Yes, yes. It's awkward. Yes, yes. With consent. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Leah, could you hold the mic for just one Hi. second? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Are you ready for your quote? Do you, were you here when you know how to play? Okay, you're... <laughs> this quote has five curse words in it. I will count them. You have to do it in correct order. No pressure. Bring it. Blank, useless, and I blank knew it. Why I ever blank let you talk me into this. Just as blank well nobody else knows, or we'd have sheep swallop all over our faces for the whole blank towered seat. Can you do that one more time? Yeah? I'll do it slower for the for the Shido and everybody else. <laughs> blank, useless, and I blank knew it. Why I ever blank let you talk me into this just as blank well nobody knows or we'd have sheep swallop all over our faces for the whole blank tower to see. I'm going to go with a bloody, bloody, flaming, bloody, flaming. Bloody, bloody, flaming, bloody, flaming. What do we think? What do we think? Did, is that right? Yeah. They seem lukewarm. Like people are like not really sure what's going on. That was actually incredibly close. I thought you had it. You had it except for the very last one. It was bloody, bloody, flaming, bloody, bloody. I know. So close. Thank you for playing. Bye. All right. Uh, should we do one more? One more. One more volunteer. Oh, I get sandwiched between them. Ladies and gentlemen, real life Matt Coffin walking onto the stage. Hello. Better than that. Uh, hello. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell them who you are? Who are you? Hello, everybody. I'm Doyne, also known as real life Matt Coffin. <laughs> cool. You don't want to tell anybody anything else about you? I'm not a bloody lord. <laughs> yeah, he's not a bloody lord. Great. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see. Um, let's see how much of a not bloody you lord you are. Let me find you a Matt quote. <laughs> she has a whole list, y'all. All right. This is like spreadsheet glorious. Like like right here. He totally sounds like Mel. Sounds like Mel. Sexy spreadsheet. Now that one's too easy. That one's too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. It's worth it. It's worth it, guys. It's worth it. Why am I starting to stress out again? I'm starting to stress out again. You are? How's your con going? All uh, right. My con is going great until someone is trying to, like, completely stump me just for the sake of completely stumping me. <laughs> I, I like stumping you. Do I need to leave? No, stay right there. <laughs> Okay, your quote, if you choose to accept it, is, I found it, after all. You ever think I might like to keep it? For a while, anyway. If you want something, sell that blank sword. 
Bloody or flaming? Sell that bloody sword. Do we think he's right? Do you think he's right? Sell that. Yeah. You are correct. That was Matt Coffin's first purse. Yes, very After much. After he learned it from Bale Doman. Uh -huh. After he learned it from Bale Doman. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Can we give it up? Leia, thanks for doing a live show with me today. Thank you. Um, I think I think we uh, all earned G. We did. Do you think we should do this again with whomever comes to next, Jordan? Absolutely. Who do you think we should do it? Um, if we can get Mag I oh my Magdalena yes. Sitova. Thank you. Magdalena Satova. There is not Uskwai in this. Magdalena Satova to yes. Green. We want to do the water yes. game with her. Yes. Yeah. Nominate. Thank Nominate. You. I love that plan. I love yes. that plan. Okay. We're manifesting this, y'all. Let's all manifest. We're manifesting. That means, where's Lumen? Did he leave already? I think he did leave. So that means, uh, Jordan Khan, folks, you heard it here first. We want Magdalena Satova to come visit Jordan Khan 2025. What do you think about that? amazing okay thank you all very much for coming i hope you've enjoyed the live show today come watch us again on thursday nights on youtube live at 9 p.m eastern and until then you want to say it with me may you always find love water and shade